Okay, so I'm going to start off with Max Painterly Paint Pot, which is just an eyeshadow primer and eyeshadow base. And basically it's, um, I don't know, it's just, it's really creamy and I like this because it cancels out any redness or any um, veins or anything like that that you might have on your eye lid, not your eye, your eye lid. And so I'm going to apply that all over and then I'm going to apply this right underneath on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Stila Smudge Pot in Kitten and this is what it looks like. I love this because it's really really shimmery and you can actually just use this like if you're like being lazy with your makeup or if you don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning because you can literally just apply this on your lid and the color is really really pretty um, you really don't need to wear anything else with it and I'm going to apply a small amount into the inner corner to brighten up my eyes you just want to apply this on the lid. You don't, sorry my nail chipped, you don't want to apply this up here because we don't want like a bunch of shimmer up here. So just concentrate on your lid and on the inner corner. So I'm just going to grab this color Virgin right here and just get it all over my brush. Okay, that was a fail. All over my brush. There we go. And I'm going to apply this onto the lid and then bring it up underneath the brow bone. And this is going to give me a nice base. We're doing the base right now for the eyeshadow. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have done this, but because um, I just used a powder, um, and now I'm going to use an eyeliner. So don't do that. Um, actually, you know what? We'll see if it works, and you can do that. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this um, Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Koi, and it's a really pretty gold eyeliner. It's very, very pigmented, as you can see. You can see it's a really rich gold color. It's very easy to blend. and So just apply it just like this. Okay, so once that's on, now we're going to start the colored eyeshadow. Okay, so we're going to take the color from Urban Decay in Half Baked. And this is, again, in their Naked Palette. And this is the color Half Baked. And I'm going to use a MAC 239 Flat Shader Brush. Quick tip, if you don't want the letters um, or the numbers to come off, just put some clear nail polish over it when you first get it. And that will prevent that from happening. So I'm going to select Half Baked with this brush. So there we go. And then I'm going to apply this right onto the lid. And actually you want to tap off any excess because you will get fallout. So we're going to apply this right onto the lid. So instead of using the MAC 239, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Shadow Brush, which came with the Naked Palette. And so we're still going to use that gold half-baked color, but I think that the Urban Decay brush is going to be a little bit better in applying it. So we'll see how that works. I like that a little bit better. So I'm going to apply that right onto the lid. Then using a fluffy crease brush, this is the MAC 217, we're going to select Naked. Yeah, we're going to select Naked right here on this brush. And this is going to add a little bit of dimension to the eye. This really isn't supposed to be like a ton of color or anything, but this will add a little bit of depth and dimension to the eye. So just really lightly blend it into the crease. Okay, so now we're going to take Max Color in Sumptuous Olive, and this is a really pretty rich mossy green color, and it's right here, and I'm going to use this Sigma Blending Brush, and this is their E25, and I just used the MAC one, but this one is a little bit more dense. Uh, the MAC one's a little bit more fluffy, so we're just going to select that on our brush like this. You want to get a lot onto your brush. Okay, and then I'm going to tap off any, ooh, tap off any excess. You can see it's a really pretty color. It has like a little bit of a brown um, tint to it, and I'm going to focus this right in the outer corner of my eye. Just kind of pat it in like that. And you can see that the gold and the green really nicely complement each other. So focus this on the outer corner and then just blend in very, very lightly. 
just like that. And now I'm going to touch up on the lid color. So again, the lid color is Half Baked from Urban Decay. And I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller brush so I have a little bit more control. This one's from Crown Brush. And there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring a little bit of it right into the inner corner of my eye. Just like that. Now using the MAC 219, which is a pencil brush, it's kind of dirty, I'm sorry, but we're going to go ahead and take the color um, Creep from Urban Decay, and I like this because it has um, like shimmer in it, it has like, um, what is this, glitter, hmm, it's like silver glitter, you really want to tap off like any excess because we don't want a lot of black in this look, so I'm going to go ahead and place this right into the outer corner of my eye. And kind of on the upper lash line lightly bring this up and into the crease so for the lower lash line I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the Mac sumptuous olive and I'm using a Mac 266 and I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the lower lash line Now I'm going to use a MAC 224 and this is just a fluffy crease blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend the shadows together very lightly focusing on the outer corner and then blending in using windshield wiper motions. Now using a brush like this from Crown Brush I'm going to take the color Virgin again and just touch up the underneath the brow bone. And so I'm going to place that right underneath the brow bone and then blend out any harsh lines. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. I'm going to use this NYX Glitter Liner. And this is a glitter liner in Crystal Onyx. So it's a really, really pretty black liner with a bunch of silver glitter in it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my upper lash line. Okay, so I'm finished with the eyeshadow now, and now we're going to go ahead and go on to liners. So this is the NARS Black Moon Eyeliner, and it's just your standard black eyeliner. You can use whatever black eyeliner that you have. You could just stop this step and go ahead and apply some mascara if this is too harsh for you. I'm going to go ahead and apply this just on the lower lash line. A little bit on the lower waterline. I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion, and basically this is, um, like it says, an eyelash primer. And so you just put this onto your lashes before you put your mascara on. It just makes your eyelashes a little bit longer, thicker. Um, I believe I heard somewhere it like protects your lashes from like the mascara or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the upper lash line. I've noticed that if I apply too much, it becomes too heavy and my eyelashes become weighted down. And if I apply it on the lower lash line, my lower lashes are like super dramatic and they look kind of weird. So I just apply a little bit onto the upper lashes, um, kind of focusing towards the outer corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm going to apply CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. This is the waterproof version. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this. It don't have a job